Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. So earlier this year, we reviewed a video from my fam on how much money she spends living alone in New York City. And that video got over a million views, absolutely insane. So uh, guess what? She's back at it, but this time she's spending $8,000 a month for a New York apartment. And uh, today we got to take a look at that apartment and I'll give you my perspective as a real estate agent, a real estate investor, and someone who loves watching apartment tours on YouTube. So with that said, guys, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe because we're closing in on a million subscribers. And if you want to be a part of it, uh, it would mean the world to me. So thank you guys so much. And now with that said, let's begin. Welcome to my MTV Cribs tour. Gosh, that's it. Wow. I'm. By the way, I don't mean that's it. Is in like that's it. Psh, that view. Ugh. Yuck. Gosh. Uh, let's let's close the video. Video's over. Uh, no, I'm kidding. But uh, no, I meant that's it. Is in like that's really nice. Like that's an incredible view. Eight thousand dollars a month, though. I mean, it's not cheap by any means. But my gosh. That's nice. This mess is because I'm literally moving out of here in two days and you're gonna be so confused when I show you this tour because you're gonna be like, how are you moving in two days? It looks like you haven't even packed. I realized just like a week ago that I had to move out. More on that topic later, but moving vlog soon. A week ago you had to move out. It sounds like an eviction. I know it's not an eviction, but uh, it sounds somewhat similar. Like, hey guys, didn't know I had to leave, but uh, yeah, we're out of here. I moved in 10 months ago and I can't even finish this lease because a lot of other things, basically the owner's selling it. So just got finished decorating the bathroom. So let me show you. Oh. Uh... Oh, that's probably it. Okay, so most likely what's happening is that uh, she's been living here. The owner came to her and said, hey, we want to list the property for sale. We'll let you out of the lease early if you want to. She says, fine. They get an offer and uh, you know now she has to leave a little bit sooner than expected. So up here we have all of my vitamins that I never take because I don't know about you, but whenever I buy vitamins, I'm always like, mm, I feel so healthy, like hashtag wellness queen. And then I forget about the vitamins. So that is what this collection is here. But you know, we have um, everything for everyone, little razors if you need that, ibuprofen, some allergy contact solution, you know. Very organized. If you would see uh, my side of the bathroom, I just throw everything in the drawers. I find everything at the front that I need, everything in the back, I have no idea what's back there. My clothing line collection number three, the holiday collection just dropped so y'all can shop that down below. It is a custom cut and sew hoodie made in Los Angeles. Yeah, I didn't print on no Gildans, okay? Go shop. It's really cozy. Ooh, that was a burn. Those Gildan shirts, though, everyone uses them. That's, uh, I believe that's the go-to for like Teespring and stuff like that. They're not bad quality, but uh, you could go a step up if you wanted to. If I kick this out of the way and make some room, I can show you guys my beautiful organizing skills. Uh <laughs> I thought this was gonna be satisfying. I open it and it looks like shit, but to me it looks good. This was supposed to be a lot more satisfying, y'all. Um, genuinely, I don't remember it being like this. It's funny, because a lot of the times you do that yourself and you think, oh man, it's gonna look awesome. And then you think, wow, look how much time I spent in this. This looks so much better than before. But when you just see it after a while, it's like, oh man, it looks better than before, but it still doesn't look that good. I mean, it's better than nothing. And I know this bedding is giving very motel chic with this quilt. <laughs> I didn't have the time to wash the duvet, so I literally just threw a quilt inside out on top because the quilt wasn't even clean. <laughs> There's no sheets on this bed. I'm exposing myself. Literally none of you asked. And I'm out here voluntarily embarrassing myself. Look at the view. Oh man, that's gorgeous. That's what $8,000 a month gets you though, but ugh. Beautiful. So I used to want to be a gamer so bad when I was a kid, but last year I got one of these and I thought I was gonna be a streamer and it never happened. But let me know if you guys want that to happen. I would love it. Then we have this podcast mic because one day I thought I was gonna be a podcaster. That didn't work out either. Yes, yes to the podcast. I've been saying this nonstop. I, th I think podcasting is really gonna be uh, the future. It's gonna be the future. But no, no, seriously. I could see like, I think mid-range content, like 10 to 15 minutes, there's always gonna be a market for that. But it just seems like it's moving in the direction of either you're watching for two hours or 30 seconds. I don't know, call me crazy. In unit washing and drying. I know in New York City, who would've? Thoughts. Yeah, this is my baby. Yeah, it's a big deal in New York City. People take it for granted in the rest of the country. They just don't appreciate that. But you know what? That That's a big deal to have your own unit and not have to go to a laundromat or like have to go to the fifth floor with everyone else and like get your clothes all mixed up with somebody else's. That's a good selling point. But this is my favorite place I've ever lived in my entire life. And this is the only place that I've ever felt like at home. Like one time I was traveling and usually I love traveling and like one time I was traveling. No, but one time I was away from home and I was like, wait, like why do I kind of feel homesick right now? Like I would rather be home and I've never felt that feeling. Oh, that's how I feel every day. I leave the house for five minutes. I'm like, oh, I'd just rather be home right now. <laughs> The theme that I wanted to go for was very neutral. It is gorgeous though. Look, it's, I love the plants. It's really well decorated, well laid out, great lighting. 
amazing view. I could see why you would never want to leave. All right, so this is the main living room. We have this plant here. Um, I don't have any names for them. Let me know what I should name them. But we have this little seating thing from Jeff Bezos. Second, it's like Jeff Bezos. I'm like, is he like Tom Ford now where he's coming out with his own collection? No, it's Amazon. Oh, there we go. We have this TV and this is the Samsung frame TV. And I've actually brought this with me from Canada to LA to New York. Oh, wow, the Samsung frame TV. I've heard about this. So guess what? So this is a TV, it's very thin. You could put it on the wall with the frame. And then when you're not using it, you could basically just put up a picture and it looks like it's a picture frame. It's insane. I've seen the quality of these things. I mean, it looks like a museum piece. So then you turn it on, you can just watch YouTube videos on it. We have this chair that I got from Wayfair. It's a pretty nice chair. I think that this is my favorite piece of furniture in this house, not gonna lie. Yeah, I like the little crystal. Yeah, I like the little salt thing on the left-hand side. It's, it's again, it's well laid out. This one leaf here is bothering me though. No plant should only have one leaf on it. That's sad. That reminds me of like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. At least decorate it for Christmas. Like do some Christmas lights on it, hang an ornament from it. Let's do something with that. That one needs extra attention. This couch, um, everyone literally hated on me for getting it in the beginning. Looks very uncomfy though. It looks so square. Th that seems like the couch that, that kind of looks good from a distance and you sit down on it, you're like, why did I buy this thing? I got this from Wayfair and yes, it is patio furniture and yes, I did not screw on the handles. Definitely not the most comfy. Is it? I see, I had no idea this patio furniture. I, it looks pretty good. Here we have this tree. This tree is my fucking baby. I love this tree with my whole entire heart. We also don't have a name for it. I have been growing it in this direction ever since I got it. And like, eventually I wanted this to wrap around the pole, but since we have to move out, I was like, no, but the new place that I live in have a pole like this too. That would be really cool to wrap that around the pole. But the thing is you would never get that off. You'd have to just cut around it, which would be so sad. We have this table and it's actually from Japan. I bought it off of Facebook Marketplace and in the description it says brought from Japan. And I was like, oh my fucking God. Like one, I love this. Two, it's like a hundred bucks. That's like those things that say made in China and you're like, oh wow, it's from China. I wonder if it's actually from Japan. It would be great if it is. I just kind of get the ick from buying new furniture because I know that either my dogs and I will ruin it or I'll move and like pick a different aesthetic. So use furniture, definitely the way to go. But you know, Facebook Marketplace is a great spot. Uh, I Have I bought anything? On, no, I haven't bought anything. I browse Facebook Marketplace all the time. It seems like a great spot. Here we have my kitchen. This is where so many thumbnails were taken. I feel like 98% of my YouTube videos were shot in this kitchen and I'm going to miss this so much. Genuinely, this is literally my dream kitchen. It was the dream setup. Like, You know, I got to say this place has great YouTube lighting and that's something that's so important. You don't really think about it until you film a YouTube video, <laughs> but that, that's a great selling point with this kitchen. I'm really gonna miss this. Like my favorite thing about this place was just being able to write my to-do list. Like I- Ooh, that's cool. I like that. See, saving money because you don't need a board to do that. You just write on the cabinets. Then we have this bed. Oh my gosh, not gonna lie. I'm actually going to hide myself up here. Mm, let me turn this light on. Look at that. Wow. You know what? The bed is missing some artwork above it or like some sort of something on the wall there. It looks a little empty. I blur this a lot out in my videos because to me, um, I think people already think I'm delusional enough, but this is my manifestation, dream, inspiration wall. And I know that this looks corny. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so top creators, 2023. I could see that. 5 million subscribers, absolutely doable. Forbes, 30 under 30. I'm 32. I screwed up, guys. I uh, went wrong somewhere. I didn't get, I heard, by the way, that like some of these are paid. Like you have to pay to be under the Forbes 30 under 30 or like there's some promotion. I don't know. Anyway, I, I missed my boat on that. We have my bathroom, guys. I think I'm gonna miss this the most. My most viral video was shot in here. And I feel like I've told so many stories in here and just talked to you guys in here. And I've had, I've like, I literally had a breakup in here, which you're probably like, what? Like I literally bawled my eyes out and set my camera up right. This is definitely gonna be a bathroom that I. Ooh, there's a, there's a frame in there that we gotta find, okay? Hold on. This is definitely gonna be a bathroom that. Ah, uh, there it is. You have to freeze it for a second. It's only one frame. And, uh, eh. All right, nothing fun. Check out the new clothing, link down below, but I will see you guys in the new apartment. Bye. Oh, I love it. Great apartment, but you know what? I wanna see the next one. So if you guys wanna see the next one too, just do me a favor, subscribe so that that way you're gonna see it. And uh, also feel free to add me on Instagram. Thank you so much. And until next time.